In a world of monsters and chaos, of terrors and uncertainty, of demons and humans, what does it mean to represent hope? What does it mean to be a mentor, a symbol, a hero? What does it mean to be a Hashira? There's a subtle genius behind the portrayal of the two Hashiras we've met so far, Rengoku Kyojuro and Tengen Uzui. From their personalities to their different styles of mentoring our protagonists, the dichotomy between these two Hashiras is fascinating. They're so different from each other in so many ways, yet what makes them such inspiring figures as well as effective mentors is a fundamental way of life that they both share at their core that of a Hashira. So what does it mean to be a Hashira? Well, for me, to be a Hashira means to inspire. It means to stand as a beacon of hope where there is none, to empower people when you're the only one, to fight till your very last breath and then some. That is the spirit of what it means to be a Hashira. However, the way these two go about showcasing this Hashira spirit is completely unique to their personalities, and that's the genius. Tengen's arc would be significantly less hype if Rengoku's didn't exist, yet without Tengen, our protagonists would not have been able to build upon the teachings of Rengoku. They both did exactly what was required of them, what was needed for Tanjiro and his friends at the time. And so we begin with Rengoku Kyojuro, this optimistic, constantly encouraging, ever-inspiring leader. The way he lived out his life and what he gave to Tanjiro and his friends is all about foundation and simplicity. Before this, the word Hashira to our protagonists simply meant the strongest demon slayers. There wasn't a feeling or meaning or ideal behind that word, it was nothing but a title. Which is why Rengoku being their first mentor is amazing, because he represents what it means to be a Hashira in the most simple, straightforward, emotional, and powerful way. As a leader, he's almost like a big brother or a parent, never expecting too much from these three, but also getting them involved in ways he knows they can handle. He's the perfect, loving, caring mentor to help set these three young demon slayers on the right path. And so, as they watch Rengoku this entire arc, Tanjiro and his buddies are constantly in awe of what this man can do. But it isn't until the final battle against Akaza that they truly see what it means to be a Hashira. From the beginning of the fight, Rengoku is clearly outmatched. Yet, no matter how badly he gets beaten down, no matter how many times Akaza regenerates, Rengoku never gives up. Not only that, he also puts on that bright, hopeful smile because he knows that his pupils are watching. After all, if Rengoku doesn't smile in a situation like this, who will? At this point, Tanjiro and his friends are nowhere near the level of this battle. All they can do is watch. Watch as Rengoku Kyojuro the flame Hashira sets his heart ablaze, stands as a beacon of hope, fights till his last breath, yet still ends up losing his life. A shocking conclusion to a hard-fought battle with Akaza getting away and Rengoku on death's door, this would seem like nothing but a failure. Except for one fact the people on the train had been protected. Every single one of them. It wasn't being the strongest or the most intelligent demon slayer. A Hashira was simply a symbol of hope and humanity. That was the foundation that Rengoku left for our protagonists, a lesson that etched itself in their memories, and one that inspired them to become better, to become stronger, 
to set their hearts ablaze. This brings us to the next arc and the next Hashira, Tengen Uzui. In my eyes, he's the complete opposite of Rengoku, with his flamboyant nature, his seemingly egotistical view of himself, and his flashy style of fighting. The way Tengen mentors Tanjiro and his friends is also the opposite of Rengoku. Rather than walking them through every step or encouraging them with kind words, Tengen simply challenges them. He sets an expectation. You probably notice that he's always running off ahead of the group, seemingly leaving them in the dust. Oftentimes, he goes off on his own and lets the rest of the group figure out the mission for themselves, which doesn't seem responsible on the surface. But to me, this is just Tengen's way of teaching. Like I said, he issues a challenge, an expectation that states, hey, try to keep up with me. If Rengoku was a conceptual leader, Tengen is the practical one, and honestly, that works. Because now, after Mugen Train, Tanjiro and his friends know what they're getting themselves into. They know the stakes, they know the capabilities of an upper moon demon. Tengen's job now is to simply bring out that potential from within them. As the fighting begins, not once does Tengen tell the kids to run away or leave it to him. Hell, he actually actively involves them in the fight. He does most of the work, but still leaves a crucial element of the battle to Tanjiro and his friends. There's even a moment where Tengen doubts himself, doubts his ability to be a Hashira as well as Rengoku was, which was quite remarkable to see. Even a man of such pride and strength doubted himself sometimes, just like our protagonists. Yet, he always came back to the realization that he represents what it means to be a Hashira in his own unique way, no matter how flashy that might be. Throughout the battle, Tengen is constantly hyping the kids up with his ecstatic smile and declarations of victory. His confidence is infectious, and exactly what the kids needed after the tragic incident with Rengoku. There's this beautiful hype scene in episode 8 where there's poison pumping through Tengen's veins, wounds across his entire body. Tanjiro is shaking and worried for the Hashira. Yet, Tengen is more hyped up than ever before. After all, no matter how badly he gets beaten down or how many times Gyutaro regenerates, Tengen never gives up. And at that point, we realize that no matter how different their personalities or how different their teaching methods, a Hashira is still a Hashira at their core. While Rengoku showed Tanjiro and his friends what it means to be a Hashira, Tengen got them to feel what it means to be a Hashira. He instilled them with confidence, and honestly, without that, they wouldn't have been able to give it as much as they did in that final battle. The final battle which resulted in an accomplishment for the history books. After all, Tengen Uzui, with the help of Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke, defeated an upper moon demon. Something that hadn't been done by any demon slayer in the last century. Whether it be Rengoku or Tengen, each of them left their mark on the story, leaving us with not only hype moments and emotional stories, but also developing our protagonists in a natural and enticing manner. And of course, they also inspired viewers across the globe, showing us what it means to represent hope, what it means to be a symbol, a mentor, a hero, what it means to be a Hashira.